Alrighty. So this is supposedly the part of the pond water here. Well, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. I want to add one more. Okay. It's, it's a 2017 saw. You see any carbon? Gee, I don't see any carbon there. Know what I mean, Burn? And you can still see the machine marks on the piston. Run with Moto Mix, which uses this oil or non ethanol fuel or even ethanol. I try and get non ethanol. The, the little bit that I do run that type of gas with that oil. So we got a couple guys on YouTube. Uh, one guy's channel is Richard Flagg, and the other one is uh, Novice Lumberjack. And, uh, you know, they seem to take a, a dislike to this oil. Uh, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And I'm not saying this is the best oil, the be-all, end-all, but these are the results. And I've run this saw quite a bit. I've run, a, you know, a lot of a lot of gas and oil and bar oil and everything. Went through chain sprockets with this saw. You know, it doesn't owe me nothing. But after all those hours, everything's still nice and clean. So, uh, yeah, those two birds over there, I, I, I don't get it. Um, how you could have an experience that's so diametrically opposed uh, to the rest of the populations, it, it, it just seems like it's uh, the, the something doesn't add up. It, it doesn't pass the smell test. And if you go on YouTube, there's several videos. There's one guy... Uh, Ken Small Engine, I think his name is. And he refers to Mr. Flag, and, and Mr. Flag does respond in a video, and he says something about, you know, high use, extreme uh, duty. Which tells, you know, which leads me to believe that uh, we're overbuilding the saws, and, you know, we're burning them up. Well, don't use this oil, or, or better yet, don't overbuild your saws. I mean, if you're using them for work, you know, you can only go so far and that's it with them. That's the only thing I can figure because, you know, out of a hundred people, there are two of them saying that, you know, uh, Richard, he calls it pond water and then, uh, the, 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 the lumber hack, I mean, uh, lumberjack, uh, he, uh, is kind of like Richard's flunky. He's. Oh, you got to listen to Richard. He's a pro mechanic, which he probably is. I, you know, I mean, but I mean, it's a chainsaw. There's really, it's it's really not that, uh, you know, technical. It's actually, if you think about it, it's, it's pretty easy. Once you, you know, burn the initial suffering into your brain of how it works, then it's pretty easy. But uh, I don't know. I, yeah. I wouldn't say this oil is the end-all, be-all, but that's what they recommend in the manual. I mean, that that's the thing about YouTube and, 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 and you know, these guys, I'm going to call them out. I mean, there's just so much bullshit. It's just to the point where the people that do know it, I mean, come on. You know, who, 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 who I mean, do people believe your own bullshit? I mean, it's, it's just, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, but like I said, there's a lot of guys out there that are showing their exhaust. You know, the one guy that Ken, Ken's engine, he's using that tool for 15 years every day. The thing looks like it's brand new. So I would say, you know, if this was a court of law, the preponderance of the evidence is not in your position. And if that was whether you went to jail or not, uh, you'd be going to jail.